Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within, part one of part 2.51, whatever. It's part two. Episode two. So, I have completely given up on trying to play this on PC. I, I don't think I have any interest in PC games. But, I, Spoken I'm, like a true console gamer. Yep, it's true. And I, I'm just going to pass this to this good old Flash of Revelo here, who is a PC gamer. But hey, man, I'll, I'll fuck you up on Xbox. Oh, listen to this guy. All right, so let's see if I can actually show L Jackass here how to actually do this. Now, I just gonna need a moment of quiet time here, a little bit of serious time. You know what I'm saying? He needs Jesus. I actually want to avoid the locker at all costs. Hold up, come on, go to that door over there. Come on now. Nope, I guess he's not interested. Hopefully. This area kind of sucks. The way I originally did it is I took a bottle, went over to the door that he's going to right now, and then I hummed the bottle down in the other direction. But I don't know how much that's going to work for me. This gun has some temper issues. Here we go, here we go. Going for the great escape here. Okay, he fell for the bottle trick. We made it. We are in the clear. Get that door open. Let's go. Hut, two, three, four. Left, two, three, four. Some light. Let's get the fudge out of here. In the clear. Never mind. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Quit tripping over the wheelchairs here. Come on now. The love of God, get over this table. Let's go. Come on. We didn't really have a choice. The guy has, like, literally no leg. Okay, he has a leg, but it's, like, completely destroyed. And we're in the elevator. Peace out there, Chris Farley Chainsaw Massacre. Bruh. Bruh. Well, we made it. Gavin, you almost made it out of the prologue. Congrats. I'm proud of you, bud. You did, uh, you did a good job. Perfect. Maybe next time I'll, I'll, I'll reach the other side of the room. You did fine. You did fine. Okay. You know what? This is turning out to be a really good, you know, 100% deathful run of the Evil Within. You know, I'm liking it. <laughs> yeah. No, this is this is going fantastic. Oh, uh, here we are. Bethesda Softworks presents. Hashtag love Bethesda. Absolutely love Bethesda. Probably my favorite gaming company right now. Hashtag that Fallout 4. Fallout! Skyrim! For the record, I'd like to say Fallout 3 was the best game of last gen. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, it's a lot better than, you know, playing Call of Duty or some shit. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. I saw a commercial for Black Ops 3 today and almost puked. Almost. I, I will give it some credit, though. I hear a lot of people saying that... Black Ops 3 is, is a lot more fun than the past, like, like actual handful of Call of Duties to come out. You know what? In my opinion, the last good Call of Duty game, and again, this is just my opinion. I'm not here to argue with people, was World at War. It was the last one that I truly enjoyed playing. You know, I just, I don't know what it was. I think it's the fact that I haven't seen a, a World War II type game in a long, long time that isn't an RTS, like a first-person shooter. Uh, with the exception of the Order, which was a good game. I thought I could have done a little more. Uh, but I think, I don't know. I think just the appeal of World at War was just really good. Shit, this place is going to come out. we got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, no, I totally know what you mean. Like, 
for me, like, I enjoyed Call of Duty for a long while, and uh, Call of Duty 3 was actually the first Call of Duty game I ever had. And Call of Duty 3, to me, like, the original 3 was just such a, an epic game. And you look at it now, it's just like, oh, it's just so simple. It was, it was really accurate and it was really spot on and it wasn't made to look like something like it was actually made to look like But it was just a good solid World War II game. I and mean, that also brings us back to World of War. World of War was probably one of my favorite games in the Call of Duty series. Uh, I think it's one of the two. And I, I think that the last Call of Duty game was really Campaign? Yeah, yeah, the campaign hey, was, was fantastic. Hey, I'm like, sorry, I but you never came out. I'd wait it, but... but um, <sighs> yeah, I think for Please, online factor, I really enjoyed this. World of War and World of War II. The, the, the campaign for the first one is the one where you sneak out of the, the prison camp, right? You sneak out of the prison camp. Shit! Which is a real, real prison camp. Hashtag miss you, ghost. <laughs> Rip ghost very well, my boy. <laughs> and um, Shit. the first Black Ops just had my favorite. And holy fuck, what is going on? It's like we're getting ready for some time. was the prologue to Fallout 4. <laughs> the first year. Welcome to Ground Zero, everyone. <laughs> the year is 2078. <laughs> Damn it. Are we cut off from everyone? Everyone must be dead. Everyone all right back there? Just a few bumps. We're fine. Who's this crazy? Fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. Who's that crazy person? A little Man, further and we'll be fine. some milk. <laughs> oh God! It's the Creed. Fine, fine. fine. Assassin's Creed here. And, you know they're coming to kill fine. us. Fine. Fall. If you think about it in Fall. a different light, the story is really just Assassin's Creed chasing down Ubisoft. He's trying to get revenge for all the shitty games. <laughs> oh, see right there? There's Unity. Oh. You killed me, Ubisoft. You killed me. There's the fan. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> There's the gaming industry. <laughs> and if you think about it in retrospect, they're falling into a giant pile of money because people keep going back. <laughs> Hashtag microtransactions. <laughs> oh shit. Chapter one. Congrats, Gavin the Jackass. <laughs> He did it. He completed <laughs> half of the prologue. Oh, fantastic. I failed this. But how many times did I die? Like four or five, six? I don't know. So many that my fingers hurt from counting. No, I'm just playing. I don't know, like four or five times. Jesus Christ. The cool thing about these cutscenes is if you move the mouse, you can actually look. They're interactive cutscenes. It's not just like, I love it. like here, I'm just going to stare and watch this, whatever the hell's going on real quick. I can actually look around and see what's going on. Super important doctor who knows the cure. Is it Dr. Richtofen? Yeah, Richtofen, yeah. Right before he leaves, he drops a big box of ammo. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Bruh. Look at the bulge on his neck. Oh, oh shit. Uh oh, oh god. Oh, ugh. Man, you got some creepy ass fetishes, bro. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Bodies found. Bodies found in Lakeside Town. Cause of death remains a mystery. More than a dozen mutilated bodies found in the village of Elk River. Several residents unaccounted for. Oh my goodness. Not good, not I good. I cannot actually imagine, like, if I were to turn open the the newspaper one day and actually find that, like, you know, in the Thames River, we just find, like, 60 Hello? corpses Anybody there? floating down the Thames. I, I would truly be disturbed. I, I, know do, I don't even know what I would feel with that, you know what I mean? Like, that's just messed up. Hello? Shut up, oh, nurse! Really? I'm a doctor! Is everyone else all right? Hashtag love you, Markiplier. Whatever you're talking about. <laughs> You're my favorite YouTuber. You're the only soul here. Be my friend. Right now. So, welcome to home. And when I say home, I mean this is probably the most safe place that you'll feel anywhere in this game. A hospital. This place is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. On occasion, if you head over to this newspaper stand, there'll be a new newspaper that you can kind of check out, get some more info. It's kind of nice. Please, sign in here. Without signing in, there is no way to enjoy well, your future no. memories. Okay, alright. So I gotta got sign in here, eh? Gotta deal with the legalities here. I'm gonna make sure no one gets in trouble. Alright, we're gonna save it up right there. We're gonna save over it. Hell yeah, am I sure I wanna overwrite this save? Gouda, now what are we doing here? I got no clue. Lady, where are you going here? This way, please. Oh. Oh. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go for a little walk like here. Medicine. Smells like medicine. Well, that's better than murder. <laughs> I have no reflection. What is going on here? You're a vampire. What is with the little throne here? Let's have a seat in the mysterious looking chair. It's Dracula's chair. Psych. You hey, lady, right. what's going on? Please, relax. <laughs> All right. Rude. Please. Have Walk into me. I don't know if I want to sit I, down anywhere. I, that seems very. All right. Well, let's yeah. take a seat. Uh, Maybe it's good for our brain. I saw the brain icon there. What the hell? Oh God. Oh no. You mustn't That's not it. good. This is for your own good. Well, no. welcome to upgrading. Stop. Whilst you're playing through the game, you can collect things called green gels, and essentially they're like points that you spend to upgrade to get bonuses whatever you want. This is actually good, the well, crazy now. brain surgery chair. All better. Well now, believe it or not, I don't think I'd want to sit in it. That's right. It's good for you. Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Trust me, this this is perfectly fine. We, we can we can do this. Trust me, I'm a chef. We've coated the chair in flame retarded materials here, so we're fine. I'll be waiting. Thank you, nurse. Oh god. As you can see, we used our magical teleporting powers to get back into the uh, just just, just sit right here. in the fire. <laughs> My kind of fire. I like it. Non-burning fire. <laughs> the fire that doesn't hurt. Shit. Not feeling it right now. On? Hey, what's that? Where am I? Space to pick up. I got a syringe. The origin of the medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but it provides moderate health restoration. Well, that's good. Works for me. It's always good to have good man. With you. Where are you? So one of the cool things about this game I'd like to mention really quick is you have your V menu screen. Believe it or not, the game is not fully paused. If you look in the background, you can see Detective Castellanos still moving very slowly. Fallout 4 also did something similar to this, and I'm a big fan of that. I like the fact that even though you hit pause, quote-unquote, you're not fully pausing. You still have to worry about enemies coming at you and stuff. So switching to weapons... Although it's useful and you can do it while you're in combat, it's still something that you do not have full safety in doing, you know. So, here we go. We're going through, you know, the woods here, you know. I'm going to go try to look for, oh, there's blood. I'm not liking that. Uh, kind of.
don't want to go run in random directions here. But uh, actually, you know what? We're going to save this for another part. So I think we're going to end the video here. See you later, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace! <laughs>